Oh my god. Let's go. Fifteen minutes of fame. You are now listening to Fifteen Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! Alright, yo man, 15 minutes of fame. I'm back. Uh, topping off this new year. Happy. Why why'd you say I said happy half a day? Yeah. Well you said something different. I said I said happy new year. The happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year. That is dope. I was saying half a new half a Happy half a days. Yeah. Like holidays. Happy half a days. I'll you know, tweet that Happy out. Happy New Year is not too bad either. <laughs> well, yo, I, we, let's let's start this new year off uh -huh. uh, with a word from Matt Hoffa on uh, what's becoming a big nuisance in battle rap. A nuisance. It's a nuisance, right? Is that not a big enough word? A nuisance? It's not a nuisance? A nuisance nah, is bad, really. right? A nuisance, that I mean, a nuisance is like a little annoyance. Like, well, it's not a little, it's a lot. Yeah, yeah so. It's a lot. I would say. A big fucking eyesore for battle rap. How about that? That's good? An eyesore? I, a black that's eye. In, that's in your opinion. Okay. I think that there's certain people that wake up and they love this shit. Uh, I'm sure. Well, the fans love it. The fans Some love fans. It. Some fans. Some fans do. Some You're fans right. are like the guys. You're right. Some fans are like the people who hear people arguing and they stick their head out the window. Right, right, right. To see right, what's right, going on. Right, right. You know what I mean? You're right. Some people actually care about the culture and some people just are, they're just looking for a little bit of entertainment to take a little bit of attention off of whatever the fuck they're going through. I, I've seen a lot of fans saying it. I've seen some fans like, uh, you know, cheering it on, like, yeah, uh, this is this shit is lit, you know what I mean? You know, this is the best shit. We've been, you know, have something to watch. And, if battle you know, rap fans like to see us argue, why wouldn't they like to see bloggers <laughs> argue too, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, the argument and the negativity is, uh, seems to be big. So. So what are we talking about? Well, we're talking about the, the whole blogger, I'm gonna call it blogger beef. To it. Well, when, when, when I started doing this, there were no bloggers. When I started coming out to the events and interviewing y'all, you know, there was no bloggers. I mean, I think there was such thing as bloggers, but they really weren't big. Not even yeah, regular bloggers. It was, it was bloggers. really up to the battle rappers. Like like I say, um, all right, Smack would interview us. Mm. Other people would interview us. And that was our blog. Or we would shoot our own shit. Our like, own shit, right. Like, um... Me and Rex going back and forth on World Star before World Star was like World Star. Right. That led up to the birth of the world. I think there's a stat that said you were the most viewed on World Star too. Yeah, probably. Probably. Somebody might have surpassed you, depending, but Yeah, you know, I mean, but go ahead. I just shit, wanted to throw, shit, throw that out there. But, but yeah, <laughs> I got like 40, 40 something videos on World Star, mm. whatever. But um So back in those days. It was battle rappers selling fights. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? You say what you say. Rex would do a blog. He'd say something. I'd do a blog. I'd say something. I'd do a diss record. There'd be a respond. Whatever. You know what I mean? Right. He was selling the fight. At some point, battle rappers became cool with each other and decided, we're not. I'm not going to sell the fight. I'm just going to get the bag, show up, and perform. So somebody had to sell the fight. Who stepped in? The bloggers. The bloggers who are like on the outside, like I'm just, I'm just like you fans. I just, this is my opinion on it. Maybe we could talk about it. Battle rappers stopped doing that, and I think that's a problem. I because think then we left the opinion, and um, like, ooh, that, that's the we left the opinion up to somebody mm. who doesn't do this shit. You dig what I'm saying? I think um, if you were to ask Joe Schmo. Not to say Joe Schmo don't know shit, but Joe Schmo, who's a fan of basketball, who does he think the greatest player of all time was? I think the validation of his answer versus asking Magic Johnson, who he thinks the greatest player is, it's a different level. Right. But we gave that up. And somehow the bloggers became a little bit more valid in their opinion because they were more willing to share it constantly. 
You know what I mean? Right, right. While battle rappers are hopping on planes and flying here and writing bars and this, that, and the third, the bloggers are coming home from their nine to fives and they're like, this is my life. <laughs> Camera on. Boom! You know what I mean? Let me talk to these people because they're being neglected. <laughs> battle, the battlers are not talking to them. They are. They are. I, I always used to wonder, like, how, did, how the fuck did Surf become more popular than me? Then I looked on his page, I see how many tweets this motherfucker got. And I was like, oh, shit. He's on here all day long. He's getting everybody that's looking for somebody to talk to. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. So, so he um, was doing his own media. Yeah, I mean, I'm, you do have to connect with your fans. And I feel like, you know, I still, I still like a little mystery. I still like to have, like, some life to myself. Right. Like, I'm not going to share everything with you motherfuckers. You know what I mean? <laughs> not I'm supposed. not. I'm not gonna share everything. Some of this, I'm I'm a little I'm a little old schoolish in that in that department. I'm not gonna tell y'all everything. I'm not. You know what I mean? Right. But I do acknowledge that us as battle rappers, we do need to communicate with the fans a lot more. Cause this whole blogger thing that's going on, these are people who filled this who figured out this is missing. Oh, when when this shit started. You motherfuckers, like, you, you look at URL TV. In the earlier days, there would be a blog from Averb, there'd be a blog from me, there'd be a blog from Cortez, there'd be a blog from, there'd be a blog from T-Rex, there'd be a blog, you know what I mean? Like, that was part of what we did. And somehow, we kind of, like, dropped off <laughs> from doing Probably that. Probably said, we big enough, the fight's going to sell itself, so right. once you people know my know we're battling, that's it. Give me it. my bag, exactly. let me go right, leave me alone. Right. And when I come out, I'm gonna show up, I'm gonna do what I right. do what I do, give me my other half, and then it's on to the next. And you know that, what I mean? that's where we came in. Right. You know, so before the bloggers, we were there and you guys were actually willing to talk, you know, like we I still remember the We left know, it up to you guys. Yeah, I remember we did the interview at SOBs, uh, when you battled John John. Right. You know, um Shug battled um, Ooh, my, my 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 bid was Extra. <laughs> Every now and then, that's why I'd be too. like, "Yo, some of, some of these bloggers are haters. Yeah. Like Caps, mm -hmm. you're a fucking hater, and I know that, <laughs> and I know it, bro. No matter how much you be like, yo, man, if you know I fuck with you, I know you a hater, cause he will pick the goofiest pictures ever for a fucking blog, bro. To the use shit them. with me and Hollow, he got some shit up there with me, like, <laughs> mid, mid, like I'm saying something like. <laughs> I'm like, why the fuck would a nigga pick this picture? Okay, Caps, I see what you're doing. Yes, yeah, some of these niggas do hate and shit, man, but whatever. But the bloggers and all the shit that's going on now, they have their yeah. own fans. They have their own following. They they are keeping people entertained. Like, um, how much somebody likes you has a lot to do with their opinion of you, whether it's honest or not. You dig what I'm saying? No. Break it down. All right. Jims gets punched in the face. Mm -hmm. Drops on the floor. Gets up. A nigga standing in front of him giving a fucking speech on why he got punched in the face. Mm -hmm. And following him to the venue. Mm -hmm. And then saying things to people in the, in the venue. He walks away, walks to his car, gets in, drives home, changes his clothes, and comes back when everything is all over. But because people like gyms, they big them up for that. When in reality, if your homeboy came to you and told you that this shit happened, you'd be like, yo, what the fuck? Why you ain't swing on this nigga? What's wrong with you? He, this nigga standing right in front of you talking about, no more battles for you, son. No more battles for you, son. And you then he goes like into the, let's be real, he went into the venue, sits down, and watches the rest of the battles. Chilling. But, because people like gyms, they say, yo, we're gonna give him a pass. We're gonna give him a pass on this shit. We're gonna act like, like sometimes I come out the club and I can't find my car. And you know what I mean? Like, I can't find my car. You found your car, nigga, but you didn't find the nigga. Who, who just got you knocked out on the street? Cool. We're going to leave this alone. 
You know what I mean? He wrote a post. I said something about this, and he wrote a post saying, oh, math is sounding like an extra lame. I don't know who okayed you to ever use that word with me. But it is what it is. But this is a, this is a fact. Now, if now, now if so, is if very likable. He's so a lot of people likeable. are going to say you're hating He's on him right like, now. They're going to say that I'm yeah, hating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in reality, if your man comes to you and he shows you, look what happened to me, you'd be like, yo, that nigga standing right there, son. What happened? Why you do nothing? The nigga, he's smaller than you, son. It may be a little piece of me that's like... Yeah. A little sour about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I made fucking TMZ. You dig what I'm saying? Like, and these motherfuckers is on this and I got knocked out when I did it. You dig what I'm saying? So when I see other people just like on some, we're gonna leave it alone because we like gyms. How much people like you has a lot to do with how far you go. That's just something I realized. I I I totally but agree. no disrespect to nobody. That is just an observation of mine. Y'all don't have to look yeah. at this and be like, your math is hating this, that, and the third. That's just an observation that I made. You know what I mean? No, I agree, man. Sometimes when people are a, 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 a favorite or somebody is very likable, sometimes they do get passes for certain things and uh, or second chances or whatever the case so may be. So with the bloggers, they, they, mm -hmm. they got their fans. There's some bloggers that are, that are probably still Chris and Bias fans. I'm I mean, not, not sure, bloggers. Sure. There's some fans, fans that are right, right, that are right. probably still right. supporting Chris. Right. Because no matter how many, how it, much shit they hear. Yeah, it's because they're waiting for the verdict. I think you know, but you know, in, in all respect and no disrespect, but in a lot of what they do is, you know, and I'll, I'll say this on record, mm -hmm. but a lot of them, you know, they dig into a lot of y'all's life. A lot of battle rappers life and soon as something what? goes wrong in your life they blog about it let me finish because i ain't i'll never really say this but i gotta say you this you see the flip though yeah they you dig the into flip. your life and then when it's flipped around it's not nice they don't you like know? it right but a lot of them but don't this is the like shit that we we deal yeah. with every day you wake up in the morning yeah Hey, oh, somebody got a blog about me, though. Oh, they're talking about me. Yeah, this nigga just needs to hang it up. Right. Like, yo, I heard, right. I heard this about him. I heard... Right. We got to deal with it. Now, the bloggers who took our positions and communicating with fans, they got to deal with it, too. Yeah. And it's not nice. It's not cool. They're realizing it like, damn, yo, this is crazy. Yeah. When the, um, before the Piper Boy shit happened... Mm. I called him. I fuck with Piper Boy. Mm. I gave him one of his first interviews after the first Double Impact, right? And I seen what he was tweeting, and he was like, oh, you don't want it with a blogger. I was like, Piper, they like you. Don't get ahead of yourself. Mm. Don't become the guy that people want to see go down because... Nowadays, motherfuckers will put more energy into tearing you down than they will in building their own shit up. That's what we have now. Be careful. That's what we have. Bloggers going against bloggers. Yeah. And they think it's a build. Yeah. But here's the problem with that. You build your name on drama. When there's no drama, you have no name. Well, you create, you gotta have something you gotta create else. drama. You got to have something or, or yeah. create more you drama. You got to create more drama. Yeah, I, I still don't get why they going after each other. When, yo, like, straight up on the record, like, yo, hip hop is real, it's my fucking guys. They do what I do. I'm not a blogger, we do interviews, but they do what I do. They at the event with us. You understand? Rap Grid, they at the event with us. It's my, those my guys. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? A uh, uh, con artist. You know, even when, um, um, what's my man, damn, forget his name. Uh, oh, uh, original. You know, that shit's hot, son. You know, we at the events, we chilling, politicking with each other. Mm -hmm. There's no hate. Never been no hate. We still, all of us still cool till this day. Right. You know what I mean? So it's weird. Now I see the bloggers going after each other. So just for anybody that's watching this video right now, just know that. Us guys that do these interviews at the event, we've been cool since day one. Still cool now. Mm.
there's no reason for us to try to tear each other down. We are, yeah, there's room say, for I everybody. Say I noticed like most of the drama come from the people that's not at every event. Yeah, I guess you could say that, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, again, if you're at the event, it's hard to deal with drama every time you're at an event. So, you know, we leave that for the women. Um, but, yeah, man, for the, on, on the strength, man, that's, 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 that's what we do. All us guys, man, been doing this for, I've been doing this six years. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Back to SOBs, when you battle John John. Go back there. That's, mm -hmm. that's a long time ago. My business. <laughs> On fire. Extra shiny that day. Extra shiny. Yeah. But yeah, so it kind of it kind of upset me. I almost wanted to do my own blog. Like I've never done a blog, mm -hmm. but I was very tempted to do a blog to address it. I think I just addressed it a little bit, Look, and I used you this to, to help address about it. About butterfly. Kenny Lewis. Mm. That was you. He admitted it. He said that was him. So it's a lot of hate. Coming out of an individual who's supposed to be fucking with some of these people that he's hating on. I don't know. Um, I think that that kind of puts people in a tough position on whether to trust you or not. Now, do you, uh, again, do you think there are other people that have fake I accounts? All of them do, bro. You think I think all of them fit the description has... of a nigga that has a troll <laughs> account. Anybody who will not walk up to somebody else and say the shit that they're, they're typing on the internet in person, you are the type of nigga that's going to make a troll account. Hmm. You ask me, I don't have one. I had one back in the day. I, I can barely keep mine. Oh, I talk had, that, talk that troll shit, day. man. I'm going to talk this troll <laughs> shit. I'm going to be the real one. Talk that troll I'm going to be the real one let y'all know. If y'all ever remember a, um, a troll page called T-Rex Tumor? I don't think I ever saw it. Twitter? Twitter. Yeah. T-Rex Tumor. Me. Nobody <laughs> knew it was you? Ah! <laughs> Just, no, I think people knew it was me, but this <laughs> shit only lasted like two days. Oh, okay, okay. You know what okay, I mean? Okay. But, but I wreaked havoc for like two days. <laughs> Before or after the battle? After. First or second battle? First. After uh, You, you after made it the after first, the okay, After the okay, first, okay. T-Rex tumor was talking bad shit. You know what? I don't think it's bad for you to do that. For a battle rapper to create a troll page and talk shit about their opponent. Yeah, because I mean, but... but Stirs People up probably fight. figured out it was me because I was talking the same shit I was talking on my Twitter page. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But it was just That's something funny. funny for me to do. Some of these guys really use these things to talk to themselves <laughs> and promote themselves and be fans of themselves. Wow. I'm telling you, a lot of these motherfuckers probably got the same shit. And they're like, yo, I love your blogs. And then they're answering themselves, thanks, homie. Keep tuning in. I'm, I guarantee you it's going down like that. I, I'm not going to fucking lie. It's not a bad idea. I mean, I'm quite sure in business, there are people that do that, do it, that and it works <clears throat> for them to help create a buzz. You don't think that's done in the music industry? Butterfly brought me here. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> but you don't think it's done in the music industry? I definitely do. And I think that that's for disingenuous people who just follow. But that's, that's good. That's the, that's the target market. Right. If you're a follower, look, the first, the, the, the toughest, um, the most important piece to anybody who has any type of fame is the first follower or the fan, the first fan. Right. Because they believe what nobody else does. So if you're following somebody or you see somebody and they're, they're giving mad love to somebody, it's encouraging for you to be like, oh, well, why this person like this person? Let me check in, see what's going on, this, that, and that. Yeah, I get it. Well, we I know that. It. The more likes but, something has, the more interesting people for are. For me, having. bro, it's just a little thirsty. It's just a little thirsty. You it know what I mean? Like it depends on if you have a product that you're selling. I think it's okay to have the trolls. You're talking to yourself. You're well, you're not. You're telling people are doing do it awesome for you. Blogs? People are doing it for you. With bloggers, I think it's wrong to have a troll. You wake yeah. up in the morning and do that in the mirror. <laughs> do you need to do it on the internet? Yeah. I guess so. Wake up in the morning. Yo, you're awesome. You're gonna have a great day today. These niggas. 
You're a number one. You're number You're one. You're a number one. I can't wait to see your next vlog. And then it responded, no doubt, homie. Glad you subscribed. That, that's... <laughs> I think that's one of the biggest issues too, man, and is that Woo! everybody you know, wants to I know be the exists, best. But I know it exists. Yeah. I feel like Disaster probably got 50 of them shits. You think I so? I feel like Disaster got 50 of them shits. And there was a certain point in time where I would delete certain comments and they would pop back up under another name. Wow. The same exact comment. And I'd delete that and it would pop back up under another name. And I'm like, yo, who the fuck is this? But people don't know all three of those names could be in your comments saying shit about you and you think it's a bunch of niggas and it's not. It's, it's one just dude. one fucking person with nothing to fucking do. Yo, when we was doing the live radio show, yeah, you would that would happen. Like we have a dude and he say something disrespectful. Say ass cash is live on the air. Mm -hmm. And he oh, I wanna put my dick in her mouth. And I'm like, you know, he keeps well, saying shit. And I say, yeah. you know what? Block get rid him. of him. No, I'll just get rid of him. Yeah. Get rid of him. Boom. Not yo, I'm not bullshitting. Fifteen seconds later, pow, new account saying the same exact thing. Like, how the fuck do you how do you do that? This is a <laughs> this is a different day and time, bro. And I, I I'm not look, man. Woo! <laughs> Some of y'all watching this shit, you probably gonna feel like, damn, you talking about me. <laughs> That's how you wanna do your shit. Do your shit, bro. Do your shit, man. I, 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 what can I say about it? You know what I'm saying? What can I say? I gotta take this call. Yeah. 15 minutes of fame. You are now listening to 15 minutes of fame radio. Let's go!